Hi again, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas, and my name is Eric. Today I am working on a triple E, ASUS triple E netbook, and if you just saw our other video, I just created a video on the RAM removal, either upgrading the RAM, replacing the RAM, anything you wanted to do with the RAM, watch that video first. But in this particular video, what we're going to be doing is getting down to the bare bones of the system, the guts, if you will, and uh, I'm going to be removing the hard drive because I need to do some work on the hard drive. So, let's begin. Tools I'm going to be using are standard Philips small, uh, let's see if I can find it there, or be able to at least focus, screwdriver, and a flathead just for popping the um, different plastic components out. The first thing you want to do before you work on any computer, laptop, desktop, uh, I'm sorry, laptop, netbook, you want to remove the battery. So on the ASUS Triple E, this particular netbook, you want to put the battery first in the release position, which is right here. And then it should just pop right out for us. There you go. There's the battery. I'll just put this right there. Okay, so the actual model is ASUS Triple E PC 1018PB. I can get a shot for you guys. Okay, what I'm going to do first is take out the RAM. We're going to push up onto the little RAM compartment. That should come out very easily. These little side notches and this, oh, it's keeping the RAM in place. Pull them outward. Be gentle. This is a netbook. You don't want to break anything. They're fragile components. Just like in any computer, but in this case it's a netbook, so they're even smaller. So just take your time. When you pull them outward, the RAM should pop up, and you want to just slide the RAM out. There it is. Now, if you were only upgrading the RAM, you would be done. You would replace your RAM stick, slide it back in, put your compartment back on, your lid, and you're done. That's in the other video. In this one, we're actually taking the entire system, almost the entire system apart, and we're going to reveal where the hard drive is. So I'm going to try and speed up here, guys. Using our screwdriver, I'm going to start taking all these little screws off. I think there's some screws underneath these little, yes, there is, these little rubber kind of pads that are hiding these little screws. I'm going to put those aside. I'm just going to start going by each of the screws. And we're going to just start off by anywhere we find a screw, start unscrewing it. Should be about 10, 12 different screws. I don't remember honestly. I've already taken this system apart once, but I don't remember how many screws there are. So I'm doing this live. You have to excuse me, you know, this is. Okay, so what I do is gently get a love tap. All the screws should come out, and if they don't, keep unscrewing them. Just one. Yeah, you know, I found with this laptop, I think these longer screws they require a little more attention. There we go. Using my flat head, I'm kind of digging underneath the screw here to be able to pop it out. Again, you want to be gentle, you don't want to break anything. There we go. Cool thing is with this little uh, flat head screwdriver, it has a little, uh, has a magnet at the end of it, so it makes it a little easier. When you're kind of digging for screws, just the magnet's not too powerful, so I can't get this last screw out. 
Let's see if I can kind of let's give it a little more of a love tap. Let's see. No, not gonna come out for me. All right. Gonna fight the last screw, I guess. Maybe we can do it without that one. Maybe once I start taking the plastic off, that one will come off. So we have what? One, about ten screws. I'm gonna put these aside over here. I'm not gonna count them all. I'm gonna continue with the video, leaving that one guy in there, but he'll probably pop off right now as we start removing the plastic. Use my little flathead. I'm going to start going around the corners here. Trying to see where it actually separates. Now, I've worked on several netbooks, but it seems like each netbook is like even more compact and even more hard. So I started off from the top here. That's where I found it easier, easier to take apart. And I'm just putting my flathead in there gently and then I'm popping it upward. Start hearing it popping out. Popping off, I'm sorry. Again, guys, I don't want to stress, uh, I don't want to repeat myself too much here. I know I do that a lot. Just be very gentle. It's a netbook. They're easy to break. They're very fragile. There it is. Okay. So the top lid portions should come off just like that. Be careful because if you can see, it is connected. And the two components that are connected are the keyboard and the mouse pad, the trackpad. So before I yank it off and tear things up and break things, let me see if I can get a decent shot for decent shot for you guys. Um, in here, uh, it's going to be this other end. Let's see. Okay, maybe that'll be the best. So what we're going to do are on the actual keyboard where it's plugged into these little black notches need to be pushed up to release the keyboard to release the ribbon sorry I was trying to work get it off there but these little black notches, they what keep the ribbon in place, need to be pushed upwards in order for the ribbon to come out. Same thing for the trackpad. Well, actually, for the trackpad, it's a little easier. A little easier. All you have to do is lift up. Have it taken off now, so maybe we can get a decent shot. But on this one, all I had to do was just lift up on that and the trackpad ribbon, or the trackpad cable came right out and for the keyboard I had to push up on these little black notches and you'll know what I mean when you're working on one. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Uh, what, this other screw, I wonder if it fell out. Let's see. That other screw is still in there so I guess it's a um, some dust, dirt, plastic. I guess it's not going to come out either way. No big deal. Okay, so what I'm going to remove next is, let's see, I want to remove as least components as possible. I don't want to make this difficult. At least things as possible, cables included. To remove the hard drive, we have two screws. One and two. So I'm going to unscrew those screws. Be careful with your motherboard. There 
There's one screw. I'm trying to use a cool uh, magnetic function of my screw driver flathead. Okay, so those screws are off. All you have to do is gently slide out the hard drive at an angle so it slides out of the position it's currently in. I lift it up just a little bit and then slide it towards you if you're holding it my way. And the hard drive should come off just like that. Perfect. Hard drive is out. And that's pretty much it. So we have the hard drive out. Um, if you had this netbook or if you wanted to had a damaged hard drive or wanted to upgrade the hard drive, all you would simply buy is just any notebook hard drive, uh, any uh, two and a half size SATA drive, something that would be a decent size. This is a 250 gigabyte, but if this was my netbook, I probably would want like a 500 because I, I store, I mean, it, it, it's really all user preference, but if it was mine, I'd probably, you know, if you wanted to, you can upgrade it. If not, you know, very easy. Either way. E either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and place back in there, slide it back in place, and put these screws back on just to keep it the way it is. And that's pretty much it. So what we've done is on this Asus Triple E netbook computer, we were able to kind of get in the guts and uh, reveal all our major components, processor, motherboard, uh, wireless LAN, we have our heat sink, our fan, um, you know, our RAM is already taken off, but it's pretty simple from there. I mean, we're, we're 12 screws, 10 screws away from taking the top panel off and being able to get to everything we actually needed to repair the system, regardless of what was wrong with it, including the motherboard. I'm sure you can find these guys on eBay pretty cheap and replace them. So, perfectly easy, well-engineered computer. But that's expected. I, I like Asus. They, they make good computers. Okay, so again, what we've done in this video is I've shown you guys how to uh, kind of get inside the guts here of an Asus Triple E PC 1018 PB netbook computer. We were able to remove the RAM, remove the top panel, which is right here, and get to the hard drive. So we can remove, replace, do anything we needed to do with the hard drive. Again, all your other components are here as well, so you can work with them just from this video alone. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Or on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. We need your likes on there, guys. Uh, we're on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And check out our website. That's www.itconflict.com. My name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching.